everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we're reviewing Hot Toys Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Thor. There he is. Looking awesome. He's pretty cool. I'll take a look at the packaging <clears throat> first. Yeah. Packaging's standard uh, Hot Toys. Just This one has a lot more exaggerated color, just like the movie did. Um, take the front off inside your, your credits and uh, along with the back side has some more credits as well as choking hazards so don't buy this for any three-year-old kids and the interior of the packaging is just the standard hot toys cradle um, lots of accessories with this figure we'll take a look at those in a little bit um, let's talk about the figure itself it looks really good they did a really good job, and uh, I like how they did the the helmet itself is uh, two separate pieces. The wings can go up, and then you can pull the helmet apart. Um, so the whole helmet is two pieces? Yeah. Okay. So it, it doesn't go over uh, his head sculpt or the hair sculpt and mark anything up. So you just, just like that. And then you can, for putting it on, make it easier so you don't want to snap anything you just go like that okay and it's held together with magnets it's got a magnet on the inside here a magnet on top of his head and then so you don't have like half robocop chris hemsworth <sighs> still here it's fixed it's so good i always that. knew he wore a toupee <laughs> oh <laughs> he almost took him out <laughs> stand up i crotch big up there there you go they're so good at uh, hiding the hair seams. Yeah. It's awesome. It's like they overlap it almost. God, yeah. They're strong magnets. You don't see like a line in there. <clears throat> the hair that comes down here, like it's not like that's str it's not a straight cut. <laughs> oh my god, it, the magnet is so strong that it just took the other magnet off. <laughs> just like that. Clip the plant back in place. Um, but yeah, so just push. Uh, you don't want to end up getting like a Dumbo Chris Hemsworth. Maybe you do. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Good thing you didn't wear that when he was fighting Hulk. I can't see anything in here. Or when he's on beach vacation. <laughs> it's like I wear it when I'm on vacation. <laughs> when I'm on holiday. <clears throat> Talk about how they did some of the other accessories. Like I said before, the helmet splits into two pieces. Um, holds together like that. <clears throat> his sheath on his back is just a magnet. Just like that. Um, comes with two separate handles for the swords, so you just kind of Put the little prop handles in. You can make it look like they're on his back if you want to. We have prop handles? There's not a full sword in there? Nope. Nope. Ah. And then... Lots of accessories. Whole bunch of hands. Whole bunch of weapons. And so... A piece of hair. More hands. Is this the deluxe version then that came with extra? Yep. Extra deluxe, weapons. Deluxe version. Like I said, the whole thing is just a magnet. Ta da! Yeah. <clears throat> uh, paint job on this guy is really good. They did a good job with all the detail, all the little war paint on the armor, the wear and tear, and the leather. Um, they kind of did a mixture of hard plastic and fabrics in this, which is. Uh, cool, I thought. You just don't have to worry about the costume like getting hiked up or bulky mm -hmm. looking like some of the other ones did. Um, they did the cut seams on the boots that I like because that yeah, actually has mobility in his ankles instead so of the being ankle. like one full boot yeah. like how they do sometimes with the Star Wars figures. Yeah, the ankle's um, a separate piece. Yep. <clears throat> so that can just kind of pull up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, like I said, we'll give you some close-ups, show you guys some of the um, the detail on the costuming and the 
face sculpt, the helmet, the accessories, all that stuff. Uh, this figure's retail, I believe, was for the deluxe version was $260, 264 something like that. But the, there's a lot of stuff. Um, a, lot, a lot of stuff. He's got a cloth cape, which is all ragged on the edges, and some weathering. Kind of looks like it's dirty. And like the the buckles on his um his belt and all that stuff, the actual little straps, the emblems, it's all even the wear and tear on the like the leather armor up his shoulder, mm -hmm. up his arm onto the shoulder. It's it's all there. It's all there, folks. Speaking of wear and tear, how is his articulation? It's articulation <laughs> With that armor on the arm. Um, you can definitely move they kinda did it so it's like in cuts like how um night armor was for like arms so it was made to be you know you had your wrist movement you could move the forearm and then up on the shoulder um it doesn't really restrict from what i've noticed because it all kind of slides up when you move so i mean you can get full range you know i mean it might restrict the wrist a little bit <laughs> not bad though. oh no <laughs> not bad though but uh no it's it's all there and like I said, the shoulder pad is actually just on that little leather strap, and I think there might be a magnet that holds it there, but it allows the movement. Um, you know, he's probably not going to be doing any jumping jacks or anything, but anything you want to talk about? Any? Uh, I mean, the one the one restriction I would say is because they did the tunic in a plastic. You're not going to get a lot of range in his legs. I mean, forward looks good, but what about backwards? Is that... You're pretty much, pretty much looking at that. Yeah, that's still not bad. Um, I think it's short enough that it doesn't really... No, I mean, you, you probably aren't going to get him down in, like, a, a battle a battle position. Um, just because this is kind of not allowing his leg to go back far enough to... to uh, you can't do the he's a friend from work pose? Um, I, I think you'd have to kind of... I don't even know how he was standing when they did that. So there's a gauntlet on here. Is this something you put on here, or is this on here already? It's on there already. So what you would do is pop off one of his hands, slide this gauntlet off, mm -hmm. put his nub in, and then the other hand back on. And it looks like it can spin either direction. Yep. So you can put it on either arm. So you can uh, do that, and it's also easier for posing. Like, Captain America's is kind of limited because it has to always be buckled in both spots with that allowing it to move you can have the shield like down up not actually having to move the figure yeah it's a cool concept works out really well um this figure like we said the accessories came with four swords the sheaths with the sword handles Prop swords. the grandmaster hand cannon gun. It's a really cool design on this thing. I wish that they would have put like LEDs in here or something so yeah. all the red lights and stuff would have lit up, but that yeah, probably would have made it be like 300 bucks and I'm okay. Uh, you got the shield, you got the big mace. Um, is this what he clubs Hulk in the head with? That's what he fights Hulk with, the yeah. shield and the mace. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, really surprised with like I say, I say it every time, and we're doing a review channel, and every time that we talk about a hot toy, we're just like, this is awesome, it's awesome, but it's true. Um, you know, you, you get what you pay for, they look amazing, um, all the detail, you can tell just the amount of love that they put into the products, um, and I can't wait to get my hands on Gladiator Hulk, because it's totally going to happen. <laughs> also, the arms are all rubber. So there's no seam. Yeah. So if you do have this figure, make sure that he's not like if you have like a glass case or something like that. Make sure that it's not in direct sunlight because it will crack. Um, the um, dries the, out the rubber. Yeah, the rubber that's in there. Um, I th don't remember what it's called, but I know that there's like a product that some people say that they can spray on them to keep it from cracking. I've never had an issue with it. I mean, my Hulk's entire body is like a big rubber skeleton that goes over it. Mm -hmm. I've never had an issue with it. Um, just don't display your $300 figures in front of the sun. Yeah. Don't, don't do it. Don't leave them out for the sunlight. Catching the rays. Neck, arms, 
a little hindered by that shoulder pad. A little bit. This arm goes up a little further. It's kind of got like a double socket shoulder joint too, so it can be up or down or in and out. Kind of gives them a little more mobility to move it forward and back. Uh, elbow, wrist is on a peg for switching hands. Uh, the chest is all kind of like a thick rubber, so you, there's really no chest movement up or down. Uh, the waist can turn. Is there, there's a thigh cut, which works surprisingly well with the pants. Uh, knees, of course. And then the boot cut at the ankle, so you can get some foot poses in there without the boot looking weird. I think the the plastic tunic part is what knocks that down when you put them back on there. <clears throat> so just make sure that you're careful if you're standing them back up on there. So um, how do you, does he have a hand that holds this? Or does that like pop off? The bottom pops off. You slide it into so his So you hand. can slide that right into his hand. You gotta, do you have to screw it on or does it no, just pop off? It has to be the right way though. It's like cut. Oh, like there's a, like a square in there? That was so hard, now was it? On all, a great figure. Price point uh, for the amount of accessories you're getting. Um, the detail, the armor, all that stuff. Uh, mm. two, 260 is not bad. Not a bad price. Sweet coloring on the figure. Cool armor, cool helmet with these little wings. The uh, Chris Hemsworth head sculpt looks great. Awesome detail as usual from Hot Toys. Even the cuts like that it, it, it are in his hair in a movie. Yeah. That you can actually see on the side of the head. His half job. Yep. By, by Stan Lee himself. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to touch on. Uh, hands. He came with uh, a couple open palm, relax, two fists. Uh, this is like another weapon holding hand, probably for holding both swords. Mm -hmm. uh, another weapon and another open palm. <clears throat> uh, um, if you like our video, like and subscribe, and bye!